During the 2004 NBA season, the LA Lakers unveiled a baby blue alternate jersey. Now this was a throwback, throwing it all the way back to the 1950s to commemorate their last season in Minneapolis before they moved to Los Angeles. And on December 17th, 2004, wearing this jersey for the very first time, Kobe Bryant went off. He had a triple-double. He had 36 points, 14 assists, and 10 rebounds. And the LA Lakers wore this jersey sparingly throughout the rest of that season. So in today's video, in hand, I have the Mitchell and Ness reproduction version of this jersey, and I'm going to do a full detail review, and I'm going to hit you with an on body. And we start right now. I would like to thank all my returning viewers and subscribers for once again stopping by and watching another video. I appreciate all the support. It means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much. But if this is your first time visiting my channel, my name is James and I do reviews on sneakers, gear, and sports related items. And if you all could do that thing I like and destroy that like button for me, I would really, really appreciate it. It helps put my videos out in front of more people and helps the channel tremendously. But if you're new or you haven't yet already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop one of these bangers and you don't miss anything. Now this baby blue authentic Mitchell and S jersey, this is a jersey that I've wanted for a very long time, but it was 300 bucks retail. It never went on sale. You couldn't use any discount codes on it or anything like that. However, Hibbit Sports recently had a massive Kobe Bryant jersey sale. I picked up quite a few jerseys. And I actually picked this up for less than 200 bucks. I think with all the discount codes and everything that they let me use at checkout, I think I paid like around like $165 for this jersey. Now it's a $300 retail price tag, so getting that kind of a discount on it made this jersey a definite must cop. And I have the jersey right here. Now since this came from a physical store, it doesn't come in a bag, so if you do end up purchasing uh, one of the jerseys from Hibbit, it's probably gonna come like this because it's probably just hanging on a rack or on a wall or something like that. But I gotta be honest guys, my first impression when I first looked at this jersey is it looks way better in hand. The stock photos on Mitchell and S's website or on any other retailer website does not do this jersey any justice whatsoever. This thing is straight fire. And honestly, if the stock photos would have been better online, you know, on Mitchell and S's website or something like that, I probably would have just paid the $300 a long time ago. But it just looked a little bit odd to me, you know, when I was looking at it on a screen. But in hand, not a doubt about it, this thing is so dope. So now I'm gonna do a full detail review and give you an up close look at this 2004 Kobe Bryant Lakers jersey. All right, so here we have our first up close look at this jersey. And personally, in my opinion, I believe that this is such a beautiful jersey in hand. So we're gonna start out here at the top and you're gonna have your white Mitchell and S tag. And directly below that, you're gonna have your size tag. And this is a size 44 large, and this is made in China. You will have a white neck collar. You do have some tags attached. You will have the Hardwood Classics tag right here. Then you're gonna have your Mitchell and S tag, and this is retailing for 300 bucks. And on the other side, um, just have your authentic portion of the tag right there. Now on the top, on the chest, you're gonna have your NBA logo that is stitched into the jersey very nicely, and it does pop. And then coming down here to the middle of the jersey, you will have your Lakers lettering. That's all stitched into the jersey. Very nicely done, high quality. You will have some stars there as well. Then you will have that Kobe Bryant number eight, two additional stars. All this is embroidered into the jersey, guys. So if you're familiar with a Mitchell and S Authentic, you know how high quality that really is. Now on the bottom left-hand side of the jersey, you will have your 2004-05 Kobe Bryant Hardwood Classics Authentic Mitchell and S. And on the side of it, you will have that size 44 large once again. Now inside of the jersey, you're going to have this laundry tag. So the body of this jersey is constructed from 100% polyester. And it says that it's made in China. On the reverse side of this tag, it just has your basic laundry instructions on how to care for this jersey. Now before we take a look at the back, I turned the jersey inside out just so you could see like the amount of detail that's in this, the amount of stitching and all that. Because when a jersey like this retails for as much as it does, you know, you want to get as much detail 
and you want as much quality as you possibly can. And I believe that most of the time Mitchell Ness gives you that. So I just thought it was important to show you this. And now we're moving to the back of the jersey and there's nothing too crazy or anything back here. You do have that baby blue body once again at the top. You do have that Bryant lettering that is wonderfully stitched into the jersey. No mistakes, no flaws. Looks really, really nice. And then you have that number eight, iconic. The first number that Kobe Bryant wore in the NBA. All wonderfully stitched as well. Very high quality right there, guys. To be able to get this jersey for as cheaply as I did was a steal in my opinion. But now that I did the review, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like on body. Now when it comes to this Kobe Bryant Mitchell Ness jersey right here, this thing is so dope to me. I really like the colorway a lot. The baby blue and the white just really stands out, really pops. I mean, this is gonna match a lot of my clothing, a lot of my hats, a lot of my sneakers, and I'm definitely glad that I have it available to me for the summertime. Now the materials that are used on this jersey are very, very nice, just like most Mitchell Ness Authentics. You get a polyester body, all the letters and numbers are sewed onto the jersey. Um, it's very, very nice, very, very durable thick, heavy, has a little bit of weight to it. You can actually feel it. You know, it's not like a, you know, like a Nike authentic jersey that they sell today where it's, you know, just very light and stuff like that. You actually feel this jersey when it's on your body. Now, when it comes to sizing, I recommend going true to size. So whatever you would typically normally wear in a Mitchell & Ness NBA product, whether that's a swingman or an authentic, that's the size that you're gonna wanna buy if you wanna pick this jersey up right here. Now this only comes in authentic, so only authentic sizing is available for this jersey. I always get the 44, that's the men's large. It fits me perfectly. I have no issues with it whatsoever. I'm very, very happy with this size. So I recommend going true to size for you as well. But guys, please drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about my jersey pickup right here. Is this a cop? Is this a pass? Is this dope or is this trash? Comment down below and let me know what you think. I would like to thank you all for stopping by and watching this video. I really, really appreciate your time. Before you guys bounce out, if you haven't already done so, hit that like button for your boy. And if you're new or you haven't yet already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss any content on sneakers, gear, or sports-related items. And until next video, peace.